Hi there, my name is Eric Ard and I'm a product engineer with Integrated Device Technologies. I'd like to talk to you today about the F2250, our newest RF voltage variable attenuator. Uh, this, this device comes in a 3x3 16 pin TQFN package, so it's a very small footprint. Uh, it's designed to operate from 50 megahertz to 6 gigahertz, so very broad frequency range and you can use a power supply anywhere from 3.15 volts to 5.25 volts, so very versatile. Uh, if we turn our attention to the vector network analyzer here, you can see it in our insertion loss mode, uh, we have a very low insertion loss of about 1.4 dB at 2 gigahertz, and it gently slopes to about 2.5 dB at 6 gigahertz, so very nice, uh, very low insertion loss. Uh, one feature is you, you, as you increase the V control voltage, you increase the attenuation. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do right here. We're at zero volts right now in search and loss mode. As I increase that to about 2.8 volts, we get max attenuation, which in this case is reading 35.4 dB. So you have a whole attenuation range of about 34 dB. So very broad uh, attenuation range as well. Uh, another key feature of this part is a V mode pin, which we give you access to on the, on the EV kit PC board here. If you put the V mode pin high as opposed to low, the V control now works in the opposite direction. So V control of zero volts now has max attenuation. And again, if I bring that up to 2.8 volts, we are now in the insertion loss state. So this pot also gives you a lot of versatility on both your input power supply and on which direction you want the attenuation slope to go in. Uh, another key feature of this pot, which I can't show here, is the phenomenal IP3 number that it has. It has 47 dBm typical input IP3 at 2 gigahertz. And the IP2 number is very good as well, it's 95 dBm at 2 gigahertz. So in summary, the F2250 comes a very small package, very versatile to use, uh, broad frequency range, broad attenuation range, and very, very good input IP3 and input IP2 numbers. Thank you.